Interesting facts about the Yamaha V-Max. The Yamaha V-Max was first introduced in 1985 and was an instant success. It was one of the fastest and most powerful motorcycles on the market at the time. The V-Max was powered by a massive 1,198cc V4 engine that produced 145 horsepower and 89 pound-feet of torque. The V-Max had a unique power cruiser design with a long, low stance and a muscular appearance. The V-Max was known for its raw power and acceleration. It could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds and had a top speed of over 150 miles per hour. The V-Max was a popular choice for motorcycle enthusiasts and drag racers alike. Reasons why the Yamaha V-Max was discontinued The Yamaha V-Max was discontinued in 2017 due to a number of factors, including stricter emissions regulations. The V-Max's V4 engine was not able to meet the latest emissions regulations. Declining sales Sales of the V-Max had been declining in recent years as more and more riders opted for more modern and technologically advanced motorcycles. High cost. The V-Max was a very expensive motorcycle to produce, which made it difficult for Yamaha to compete in the market. Despite its discontinuation, the Yamaha V-Max remains a cult classic among motorcycle enthusiasts. It is remembered for its raw power, acceleration, and unique design. Here are some additional reasons why the Yamaha V-Max may have been discontinued. The V-Max was a very niche motorcycle. It was not ideal for commuting or touring, and it was not very beginner-friendly. This limited its appeal to a relatively small number of riders. The V-Max was also a very heavy motorcycle. This made it difficult to maneuver and ride, especially at low speeds. The V-Max was not the most comfortable motorcycle to ride. The seat was hard and the riding position was cramped. This made it difficult to ride for long periods of time. Overall, the Yamaha V-Max was a unique and powerful motorcycle, but it was not without its drawbacks. These drawbacks may have contributed to its discontinuation in 2017.